All right, guys, thought I'd do a little bit of an update. Um, Saturday afternoon, I was in that could have been in work all morning. Um, I was updating all the accounts. Um, but hopefully by Wednesday, all my work's going to be squared up and up to date. Because um, when I started, it was a few years out of date. Not weeks, or years. Um, so I'm pretty much squared up on everything. Um, got some important meetings next week um, but all going well should be pretty much ahead of the game then um, so yeah so flights booked that was wasn't too tedious that was quite easy to do come with Ryanair this time um, they seemed a bit a bit more geared up for the um, flights I think jet 2 are still a bit are we, aren't they, at the moment, where I find with uh, Ryanair, they seem very keen on uh, trying to get us back to normal. Um, so, yeah, flights booked. In Spain, you've got to have a mask with you. I believe if you're sitting down talking with friends or something, like, say, in a restaurant, you can take your mask off. But when you get up, you've got to put your mask on. So just be aware you do need to have a mask with you. Um been quite lucky works actually sent some out now uh sent us uh said, yeah sent us a, a mask <laughs> it's a bit late in the day considering it's three months down the line but um it was free so <laughs> can't really grumble um yeah parking's expensive in birmingham at the airport so be warned um i think because of the social distancing things a lot more people using the cars rather than the trains and i think the ubers are cancelled at the moment because i've tried looking at getting an uber from the apartment down at the train station there isn't any so i'm gonna have to make my own way down there i know to be fair once i start on my uh, journey home i just forget about time you know I'll, I'll leave the house early and everything sort of just ticks on from there I'm not really um, rushing around. I always leave extra time when I'm traveling. You know, so like with the airport, I've normally got about three hours in the airport. Um, my train is normally got a bit of leeway as well. So if the train's late and I have to get the next one, it doesn't really affect the flight. So it doesn't really cause any undue stress or something, you know, because I know some people get, oh, am I late? Or they... Uh, they leave the house late, all this sort of stuff. I just take it easy. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's it, there's enough stress in life without adding to it. Um, so, yeah, I, you probably know it's going to see my eyes, they're, they're sort of glistening. They're knackered. I've done so much spreadsheet work this week, it's been horrendous. Um, so, I'll sort of look out the window because it's sort of glinting. So, I'm just trying to chill out I'm actually listen to the radio so I can rest my eyes for today um yeah so everything's booked I did email Ryanair to say is all right if I do a sort of blog type thing they haven't come back to me uh really appreciate that <laughs> especially trying to get some confidence for people traveling um I thought it'd be a nice video to show what what the airport's like Security is is there anything extra with security? Because even though I can't show the security gate sort of stuff, I can have a little chat once I get through to the uh, the sort of um, departure lounge and sort of say, oh yeah, but they this is a little bit different or whatever. So I'll do a little bit of an update for that from the airport. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting home. Uh, what else can I say? I mean. I know a lot of people are worried about this COVID situation, but personally, I'm just sort of like, okay, what happens, happens, you know. Um, there's no point in me taking as much uh, safety precautions as, as I can when you get large parts of the population that completely ignore it. Um, I think there was Brighton or somewhere, Bournemouth, I'm not sure. At the weekend, I've just basically seen it on the TV, but it's just as expected. A lot of people clustered together and whatever. Um, it, you, you can't inject common sense to some people. It will always be someone else's fault. So, <laughs> For me, 
there's no beating that sort of stuff. They will always do it. Um, but the main thing here is using your own common sense and whatever, and that's that's where I'm going. Probably wear my sunglasses or my glasses um, as much as possible. Um, wear my mask because I have to. Um, I'm probably just wear a long sleeve, long sleeve um, shirt or something. But beyond that, I'm not taking any special precautions. Um, yeah, because I don't think it's necessary to be fair. Beyond that, um, but just looking forward to getting home. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little bit of an update to say things are moving along and I am flying very very soon. So. I'll be arriving in Spain in about a week. So uh, take it easy, guys, and hopefully see some of you there. Thanks for watching.